Monday audio poem by Po Chui. A suggestion to my friend Liu. There's a gleam of green in an old bottle. There's a stir of red in the quiet stove. There's a feeling of snow in the dusk outside. What about a cup of wine inside? This poem in Chinese looks very compact. Five characters, four lines, five syllables, four lines. Roughly translated, it goes something like green sediment, new unstrained wine, red clay, little fire stove. Late arrive sky, feeling snow. Can drink one cup, no? This tight little container of five characters and four lines holds a lot of melancholy and uncertainty. The speaker looks at a bottle of homemade wine, sees the dying fire in the little stove. It's evening, the sky is hinting at snow. And he asks, almost to no one, how about a cup of wine with me? It's not directive. We don't know if there's anyone there. It's the expression of a longing and a loneliness, maybe in exile, maybe in hiding, maybe in poverty. The mark of a good poem in my way of reading is a skillful, multi-layered ambiguity that draws on all the resources possible in the home language. The uncertainty in this poem is something like in the conditional tense, could there be somebody that would come and join me for this? Or am I reflecting on these feelings alone? Hinting at the uncertain the unknown, pushing language out, past answers into questions, open-ended questions and unfulfilled desires is very much a feature of classical Chinese poetry, it seems. And this reflective holding of uncertainty and ambiguity is a very Zen state indeed. So the poem again, there's a gleam of green in an old bottle. There's a stir of red in the quiet stove. There's a feeling of snow in the dusk outside. How about a cup of wine inside?